Life is about lessons, lessons lead to learning, and learning leads to growth. But what lessons have I learned this year that have helped me to grow as a photographer, and how can they help you? Now, I'm about to head off on a shoot, and it's been a while actually since I've been on a shoot, so I'm really, really excited. But while I'm getting ready to go on this shoot, I want to take you on my annual journey, which is looking back at what happened in the year previous. And this year being 2023 was a very interesting year for many, many reasons. So while I get ready, you can go have a look at that and I'll check back in afterwards and I'll give you my thoughts overall. Let's go. Now 2023 was a year when I finally decided to go all in and put my passion where my mouth was regarding my photography. In life, we make our own luck and either we try something we firmly believe in or we look back in years to come with regret. After over 32 years in management with many of those at director level in a corporate world, I decided that if I was to ever do it, I should take the opportunities that I had already created and developed and turn these skills and passion into something that could help others enjoy landscape photography to its max. See if I could go pro and make it a business. I had also been saying for what seemed like forever that I needed to create a website, and when I finally got stuck into it, I found it to be a very rewarding process. Not only because I was finally doing it, but more so for my approach in creating it. I wasn't creating it for me. It was to be a resource for other photographers, and I'm delighted to see that it has become at least that. I enjoy writing my blogs about my adventures and I also enjoy going back over my images that have been sitting on my hard drive for years and not seeing the light of day, giving them now a purpose. What it also showed me is that I had indeed some nice shots that deserved to be seen more than a flash on a random social screen on somebody's phone. I would highly recommend doing this for yourself, not only to go over your photos from before, but also to see just how much you've improved over the years. It doesn't need to be a website creation to prompt this. It can be something that you do regardless and can be highly rewarding. Now, the Irish Photography Podcast seems to have taken a back seat this year. And, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure as to the reasons why. It might be because doing them on my own isn't something that I want to subject my listeners to. It feels like a monologue rather than a conversation. And while I did make a list at the beginning of the year of all the people I wanted to have on, I found myself being drawn to other areas of my photography, which took up the time I had available. Now, that being said, I did release a few episodes this year, and the ones that I did produce were great to do, and were all well received by the audience, with many number ones in the charts. This still blows me away. So it shows me that there's still an appetite for them. I just need to find my hunger to get them done. I will try to do more of them for 2024 for sure, but as they are more of a passion than an earner, I feel that they may take second place in priorities. Unless, of course, someone or a company wants to sponsor me. So, as Gavin would say, get in touch. In the meantime, I have 174 episodes in the back catalogue to listen to. And should you want to find some nuggets of knowledge, inspiration or humour from the many guests that I've had the pleasure of having on to date. Some of whom I'm now lucky enough to call friends, which is absolutely fantastic. One of the things I really have found myself enjoying quite a lot is the writing process. And I'm very proud of what I've accomplished in 2023. My eight photography location guides have been very well received and fills me with pride when I get messages from people who have found locations, taken shots or made them part of their own photographic journeys. This is what drives me and is what I hope will continue to drive me and others for many years to come. In addition to writing these guides, I also finally put pen to paper, well, virtually anyway, on an idea for learning that I've had for many years, during my corporate life in fact, the idea of making learning as easy as possible, as simple as ABC. This concept has also been very well received, which excites me for what's to come in 2024. Now finally, I also joined the team at F-Stoppers halfway through the year as a staff writer. And I found this to not only be a very rewarding outlet in terms of sharing my voice and learnings, but also a challenge in how to come up with relevant topics that aren't only revolving around gear. Yes, gear is important for sure, but for me, photography is more about the feelings that I can give you. 
the memories it creates and the lessons we learn that can help us in our real lives. This has been my approach for my writing with F-Stoppers, with many articles featuring on the main feed as a result. Now the team at F-Stoppers have been great and I found myself being welcomed into the fray very quickly. The feedback from the community has been excellent and the team at F-Stoppers, the support has been excellent. I think I've said in my yearly recap almost every year that collaborations are something that I enjoy and want to do more of, and this year was exceptional for many reasons. I got to team up with some of the best in the business and also had the pleasure of hosting them right here in Ireland. When Gavin let me know he was finally going to come visit, I was not only excited to meet him, but also excited to show him the stunning landscapes that we have here in Ireland. Plus, he was extremely helpful and supportive to me personally regarding trying to get on in this YouTube photography world. I also enjoyed participating on his comical skits on his channel, and I got to see just how much work he puts into each video. Now, I'd no sooner said goodbye to him and Amanda when I was to host another super talented photographer who also has inspired me for years. That was Michael Shameville. When he messaged me and told me he was coming to Ireland and would I want to hang out and shoot, I thought it was a piss take at the beginning to be honest, however I very quickly realised it wasn't and started planning that trip also in advance. Accompanying Michael would be Maz and Nigel. Maz I've known for many years through the podcast and was excited to also welcome him to our shores. Nigel I hadn't known but it was still going to be good to hang out with him too. Now these couple of weeks were non-stop going from Gavin to one to ones and then on to the group and by the time it was over I was not only feeling energised but also drained. But the experience of it kept me going and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was also perfect regarding the conditions we got for all of those trips, with that now infamous Storm Agnes gracing our shores to show just how wild the Atlantic can be. I'm looking forward now to see what we can do together in the future, and who knows, perhaps a trip to their territory might be on the cards, or indeed return trips here for some workshops or something else. So stay tuned to see. I also welcome quite a lot of new subscribers to the channel from these collaborations and if you are one of those, thank you for joining me, it's great to have you here. Now for many years I've had people messaging me asking me if I did workshops or if I thought. And as I mentioned in my website launch video back in March, I'd always wanted to but never had the time. I'm delighted now that I finally took the plunge and dived in, I suppose like I do with most things, feet first. And it has been highly rewarding. I enjoy seeing the reaction on people's faces when they look at the back of their cameras and see the shot that they took, and the smile goes from ear to ear. I knew I would enjoy teaching, however it has actually surpassed my expectations for sure. I've had people from all stages of the photography journey join me and each person left with an SD card full of bangers and a hunger just like my own to want to continue and now that they've gotten even more skills they want to get out even more. I've always wanted to help others in their photography journey and I found that the one-to-ones give me a direct route with immediate results for participants. I also want to thank everyone who has chosen me as their tutor in 2023 and also the people who have booked me for 2024. I'm really looking forward now to meeting you all and showing you around my stunning country. Oh, and I also did a group workshop for my good buddy Bernard Geraghty and his partnership with Icelandic Photo Tours. This was an amazing experience and one that I enjoyed so much I'm working on more for them in 2024. This year saw me welcome a new addition to my channel in the form of a big but very nimble red camper van. This was always a pipe dream and if I'm being totally honest after spending many days on the road with my wingman Dodd in his camper van I knew that someday I would have my own and when I finally got the opportunity to have my own van back in February it was a complete game changer. Gone were the days of me getting up in the middle of the night to go somewhere for sunrise. I could now travel the night before, set up and just roll out of the van in the morning and be ready to shoot that sunrise. It also gave me the flexibility to spend a bit more time in the landscape because as you know we have to wait for the light. So this is something that I'm really looking forward now to getting out more in 2024. Now I've always said on this channel and every single yearly recap it seems I always say that there's no such thing as bad conditions in landscape photography. There's always a shot. 
and granted it may not be a banger, but it will be a shot. And during 2023, I had my fair share of bad conditions, but I didn't let it stop me. And I would encourage you to not let it stop you either. Whether you get good light, mediocre light, or even bad light, you can still get a shot. And even if you're not happy with those shots, you've at least had the opportunity to scout a location for when that light does arrive. So what has 2024 got in store for me? Quite a lot, it seems. I will continue to teach, and that will be through one-to-ones, groups, or online. I will continue to write, be that blogs, f-stoppers or books. And I'll continue to create content here on YouTube. And I have a few ideas that which I'm working on currently that are very exciting. I can't wait to share them with you. And most of all, I will continue to enjoy the community of photography. That's you, my subscribers here, both old and new, my friends that I've met online and in real life. And most of all, I'll be looking forward now to seeing how 2024 can top 2023 in terms of accomplishments. And I hope I'm lucky enough to have you continue supporting me and benefit from my own ramblings in 2024 and beyond. I still managed to capture some great images over the year, and here's a selection of my favourites. I do hope that you've enjoyed my retrospective look back at 2023. I hope you can see that it's been packed full of adventure and I hope there's aspects of it as well that you can take for your own photography journey and help you to improve along the way. I'm going to go now on my shoot and as I would have said, bad conditions don't exist in landscape photography. Well, today it is going to be bad. So hopefully I get some nice shots but you'll see this episode in a couple of weeks anyway. But for now, thank you very much, as always, for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and let's continue the conversation in the comments below. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Shlong Gafol.